In this video, I'm going to share with you some driving tips that's going to help you plan ahead in a better way. These tips will also help increase your chances of passing your driving test. I've lots of TikTok videos now at this stage, so if you would like to check them out, you can do so by following the links in the description or by searching this username up here. Okay, let's get on with the video and we're going to start here with some tips on how to deal with pedestrians. I'm driving down along here and now, now I'm going straight, but let's just say, for example, I do plan on taking a left turn here. You'll notice here that there's two people about to cross the road. Now, my advice to you is to be very, very aware of these people. And as you're approaching to take this left turn, just slow down, maybe a little bit more so than you normally would. And this will give the pedestrians a chance to get across the road in a safe way and hopefully avoid any confusion by them suddenly stopping because they're not sure of your actions. At an uncontrolled crossing like this, it's usually better to avoid eye contact with pedestrians because a person waiting to cross might interpret your eye contact as permission to cross the road. So by not making eye contact, it just usually leads to a more fluid situation. You have to understand that Irish pedestrians don't always use their brain cells to full capacity. Very often they wander around looking like zombies. So just be careful because they can be unpredictable and they can be an awful hazard on the road. The next tip is to do with speed limits. And I have heard a lot in my emails recently of learner drivers who got marked for progress or for driving too fast, maybe because they didn't know the speed limit. Now, I know it's hard to keep an eye on every single speed limit sign, but I do want to share this tip with you. If you are emerging from a minor road out onto a major road or from a housing estate or maybe an apartment block out, there is a good chance I won't say a great chance, but a, a decent good chance that you will see a reminder speed limit sign of some type. If you take this example here, I'm emerging out of this estate here and just there under the stop sign, there is a, a sign, a little sign. Now, I know you can't see it on this picture because it, the quality isn't the best. But if you look at it on the way in from the other side here and I freeze it here, you can see that it's 50 here. So if I'm coming out of this housing estate slash apartment block, I know that the speed limit on the next road is 50. And similarly here, as I'm coming out of this housing estate onto a more major road, I can see the 50 sign there. So it's important to keep your eyes peeled, scan the road ahead for these type of signs, and hopefully then you're going to be more aware of the speed limit on the subsequent road ahead. And when you're exiting a road or a junction like this, it's very important to be aware of the hills. For example, here as I'm coming out of this estate, on the right, it's more flat, but on the left, the cars that are coming are coming down a hill, which means they're coming faster. So I am going to require a more comfortable and a bigger gap before I pull out in comparison to the right, for example, which is more flat. And so the cars on my left are more likely going to be picking up speed and going faster than the cars on the right. So I just need to bear that in mind when it comes to making my decision to pull out because the hills there are going to be a factor. I'm just gonna talk about cyclists here now. I've already mentioned that pedestrians wouldn't be the brightest lights in the showroom. Well, the same goes for cyclists. I'd like you to kind of divide up cyclists into two categories. You have the category of cyclists that wears the high-vis vests and the helmets and are generally more observant than other cyclists like these here for example who are cycling around without a helmet um, without any observation there because he comes out there without a look to the right um, so you have to be extra careful for these type of cyclists okay now i managed to overtake him fine there's no issue but i need to be aware of that cyclist there as i go further up the road so that in the next maybe 30 40 50 meters I'm just going to be a little bit more aware of my mirrors, particularly my left side mirror, just in case I meet this guy further up because he's the type of guy that would overtake me very close, get close to my side mirror. He's just he's just a type that I wouldn't be confident in, in terms of taking care and being considerate on the road. And that's why it's so important to read the road ahead and watch out for cyclists. Like most cyclists will be fine, but with this type, you just have to be extra careful and extra vigilant. 
Here I am then in Kilkenny at a set of traffic lights and I'm turning right. So I'm rolling up into the middle, I'm waiting for my safe opportunity to turn. But if you notice the way the cars are queued up here, they're not exactly queued up in a straight line. There is one car here that is just a little bit more central than the other cars. I'm getting ready to turn into the right now and there seems to be a good gap here so I know my opportunity is going to be soon. I'm convinced this is the last car but because his position was slightly unusual starting off suddenly another car appears right behind him and that's why it's so important just to get a quick last look before you complete your right turn here at the traffic lights. Get this last look in just before you're fully committed to taking the turn. And again let's go back to the queue here. Like they're not lined up in a straight line. One car is more central and ends up blocking my view of the car behind them. So it's just something to watch out for if you're in a similar situation in the future. Thank you to anybody out there who has supported me by Revolut or by PayPal. Much appreciated. Links in the description if you want to support me on this channel. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about driving or you'd like me to analyze your report sheet, email me danetai at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Slongafol.